A girl has been walking for more than an hour, but unbeknownst to her, a car has been following her for the last couple of minutes. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to tell you a story about resilience and strength, and how adversity brings out the best in us. Sarah had just moved to Manhattan with her mother and little brother after her parents had a very nasty divorce. She was just 19 and was about to start college. It was time for her to apply to college, but she simply couldn't go forward with the applications, as she couldn't come to terms with the thought of leaving her mother alone, especially in such troubling times. Sarah wanted to help her mother with the monthly expenses and also wanted to give her little brother a life that she herself could never enjoy. So instead of applying for college, she started to look for jobs that would allow her to bring some money home. After a long search and dropping many applications, she finally managed to land a job at a firm that specialized in interior design. The lady who'd taken her interview was impressed with Sarah's capabilities and believed the girl could actually contribute a lot to the firm. So Sarah was employed as a trainee and was even delegated to one of the firm's upcoming projects. Sarah was super excited about the job. Not only would she be able to earn good money, but the experience could also help her immensely with college applications. Sarah rushed back home and told the good news to her mother and brother. Her mother was extremely happy for her daughter and wished her the best of luck, while her little brother asked her if he could visit her at her new job. Sarah simply smiled at him and told him that she would take him herself one day. After telling her family, Sarah called up one of her new friends who told Sarah they needed to celebrate. So Sarah got ready, took out her family car, and went to her friends. The moment Sarah pulled outside her friend's house, the latter came out screaming with joy and hugged Sarah tightly. She told Sarah she knew Sarah was going to get the job and that she always had it in her. Beaming with pride, Sarah hugged her back and told her that she should get ready so they could go out and celebrate properly. Her friend got ready and the two of them went out for food. The two of them got free around 11 and after Sarah dropped her friend home, she decided that she should go back and sleep if she wanted to get up early for her job tomorrow. As Sarah drove towards her house, funny noises started to come from her car. At first it was a slight knocking sound but by the time she reached home the sound had gotten much more prominent and Sarah could feel that something wasn't right. After she parked her car in the driveway, she got out to see what the problem was and found that it was a bit of smoke coming out from the bonnet of the car. She opened the bonnet and there was a definite odor like something was burning. She tried to find the problem but didn't know much about cars, so she did what most people do, try to turn her car on and off. But to her shock and dismay, her car wouldn't start again. Sarah tried everything she could but the car wouldn't switch on. At this time, she started to panic. She had to go to the work site in the morning and the place was almost 10 miles from her home. Another problem was that she wouldn't be able to find a mechanic at this hour. Troubled and dismayed, she went into the house panicking about how she'd make it to her job tomorrow. At first, she thought she should wake her mom, but she didn't want to put more stress on her, and she knew that none of her friends were going to get up early in the morning. As her brain raced to find the solution, something clicked in her head. Sarah thought that there was only one solution to this problem, and that would be to walk to the office. She'd have to get out of the house at least two hours early, but that was the only way that she would make it in time. So she prepared her clothes for tomorrow, took out her joggers, and set her alarm for 5 in the morning. Her work started at 7.30, and she believed if she were out by 5.30, she'd easily make it in time. Sarah's sleep was quite restless as she felt a mix of excitement and stress, but none of it was going to hold her back. So when the alarm rang, she got up, took a shower, drank coffee, and was out by 5.30. The sun still hadn't come out properly, and it was still dark outside. The dark road and streets gave her the chills, but she still soldiered on. The roads were empty and she only saw one or two cars pass her by. She was almost halfway there when she felt she was being followed by a car. She looked back to see a black car silently following her. She got a little scared and picked up her pace. As she started to move faster, the car started to speed up as well. This scared Sarah even more and she started to jog. She was sure that someone was following her now, but suddenly she heard a siren and blue lights flash behind her. She turned around to see that the black vehicle following her was actually a police cruiser. The car pulled up next to her and an officer stepped down. He asked Sarah why she was in such a hurry at this time of the morning. Breathless, Sarah tried to explain her situation, but she could only manage broken sentences. The cop asked her to get into the car. At this point, the fear of being late sprang out and Sarah managed to tell the officer about her entire situation. The cop was shocked. It was the first time he'd seen such a determined girl. He told Sarah he'd drop her where she needed to go and that he was proud that kids like her were still out there. Meanwhile, at the side, Caitlin, the owner of the house on which Sarah's firm had to work, had arrived. She opened the door of the house and packed all her fragile stuff away. When she came out of her house, she saw that a police cruiser had parked on her driveway. A little taken aback by the scene, she started to walk towards the car and saw a young girl and officer getting out of it. The police officer approached Caitlin and told her that she was a lucky lady. Caitlin was surprised and asked why. Then the officer introduced her to Sarah and said she was lucky because such a committed individual was going to work on her house. By this time, the rest of Sarah's team had arrived on the scene. The officer told Caitlin the entire story, so Caitlin decided to help the girl. 
She went online to her blog and wrote about everything and described Sarah's work ethic and despite all the challenges, the girl didn't quit. So Caitlin took out some cash and gave it to Sarah so she could get her car fixed. But by this time, Caitlin's blog had gotten the attention of the internet. The post blew up with people from all over gushing over the girl's tenacity and determination. This post also caught the attention of one of the firm's major investors. He decided to reward his employee and called her secretary to have Sarah come to their office. When Sarah came to the office, she saw everyone standing outside waiting for her. She nervously asked them why they were all there and suddenly saw a brand new car coming out of the office garage. The car stopped in front of Sarah and out came her boss. He smiled at Sarah and said that this office is honored to have someone like you and handed Sarah the keys. Shocked, Sarah looked at him and asked him what this was. The man just smiled and said consider it a gift from the company. After all, you're one of the most dedicated employees we've ever had. He then told Sarah to take the car for a spin as the rest of the staff clapped and cheered for this brave and hardworking girl. Sarah was in tears. She never believed that something like this could happen to her. This story shows us that hard work always pays off. Humans are a tough breed, and people like Sarah just remind us about all the wonderful qualities that each and every one of us has. It's just about having the right mindset and believe us when we say, life will reward you for it, like it did Sarah. So I hope all you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more of our amazing stories, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. Till then, see ya.